So we are so proud to bring to you our PBS 10th anniversary pattern, number 301. It's called Bonita Rose's Top. The goal was to take a simple t-shirt and just make it fun, beautiful, feminine, all the great things that we can do with a little bit of fabric. So I've made up a couple versions. This particular pattern we are only doing as a pre-sale. It, it ends on Sunday. If you've purchased it, we'll ship it mid-October. If not, it's just only a pre-sale. And there's reasons why we're doing that, but um, doesn't matter. <laughs> we just want you to have the pattern because you're going to want it. I'm going to do all kinds of fun things with it over the year. So in this particular case, I've made up a couple. And the reason I, I gravitated to this pattern in particular is it has an overlay. And I've shown you a couple versions, but these I decided to not do in sheer. I decided to do a knit. So it can be a sheer overlay. And of course, the sheer over the bottom part looks amazing. But I wanted to kind of just change it up a little bit. So typically when we have a ruffle, which is what this front overlay creates, you can't do a ruffle with a stripe because the ruffle is curved. But in this case, you can actually take a stripe, do it in the overlay, and you can see that it creates a ruffle out of the stripe. I love the combination of those two together. Typically a very masculine stripe with a very feminine ruffle, and they just make a great combination. So I really wanted to do it in a stripe just to show you. And the way you do it on a stripe is you just take the neckline edge of the overlay, which you can see, I kind of put my hair back so you can see, and that's the angle of the stripe. So that's where you line up the stripe to. It's almost like the stripe is on a bias, even though you know it's not, but it's like the stripe is on a bias. And then when it comes to the side, you can just match the side, and then the back will naturally fall straight. So I wanted you to see at the underlay, because that has to be a knit, I put the stripe going around. And again, you want to match it on the sides. It will only show at the bottom, so you don't have to worry about the rest of it. And then I used a black sleeve simply because I wanted to simplify it and keep the focus on the shirt as opposed to going all over. And the stripe sometimes gets a little bit too busy. In this particular case, so the edge of this ruffle is really I mean, this fabric is just a home run to me. And I should tell you, the fabric is 4711, sorry. This fabric is everything for fall. It's the right colors. It's glitz on one side. It's not on the other side. It's a stripe. It just has everything that fall says is in. It works beautifully. Very easy to sew with. It's a, it's a cotton poly blend. And on the edge of this ruffle, I did a little rolled edge. I used a black thread and I did a little rolled edge, rolled hem on the serger. If you don't have that, and if you just want to keep it simple, I did this one. And you can see I didn't finish any of the edges. And I love this. I love the simplicity. I love how it's just kind of raw. And because this flips back, this is actually the right side. So when you're using a fabric, you want to make sure you have a fabric that you like both sides because both sides are going to show. It doesn't mean you can't double this overlay in the front or you could make it sheer. Oh, there's so many things you can do with it. I look forward to having so much fun with this top. Obviously, it could be sleeveless. The cover is sleeveless. We wanted you to offer a sleeve so that you could have your choice as to how you wanted it. So the goal is to make a great t-shirt, make it easy, make it fun make it a little feminine. So number 301, Bonita Rose's Top, and it's on sale, pre-sale through Sunday. So to support our PBS, we really, every, every dime goes to PBS. And remember, you get a little bit of a tax write-off because Fit to Stitch is a non-profit. All right. So happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.